Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Madden 17 video. Today, we are showcasing a 75k wager here, and this was one hell of a game. One hell of a game against Manu Jax, and uh, we had just won a uh, 80k wager. So, you know, trying to trying to stack our coins up, you know, because again, we uh, wasted our, our last bit of coins on Night Train Lane, which definitely took a lot of... Uh, <laughs> Of coins. Speaking of Night Train Lane, he has his own Night Train Lane. So uh, he's got himself, uh, I believe he had a 98 overall squad. We are going to go on ahead and start off with ball first. See if we can go on ahead and move the ball. Hopefully put some points on the board. Now here we go starting off with a draw. And we go absolutely nowhere. Excuse me. He was uh, definitely sending some pressure, man. This man definitely had some heat for us as we throw a, a beautiful dot deep over the middle right there with the verts and again just not getting anything going with the running game and i tell people all the time man if you stop my running game i'm i'm in troubles i'm in troubles and right there i thought i could kind of just avoid the suction and go straight up field but unfortunately no and right here he catches the int off of the third deflection Ah, very frustrating to come away with no points when working my way downfield into the red zone. And then I notice he's playing the jumbo. And I'm like, oh man, this is just not good. I don't know how to really defend this. I don't even know what to look for. I don't know the type of plays to expect. Um, very, very unfamiliar with this formation. So we kind of got to hopefully figure something out on the go. As uh, he does punt on fourth and seven. So I will gladly go on ahead and take that. Um, I thought that right there was just a nice moral victory right there to go on ahead and force a punt. And right there again, just cannot get anything. You see three rushes, negative seven yards, really forcing me to go through the year. And right there, I could not stay in bounds. Fourth and eight, YOLO, we're going to go for it, man. We're going to risk it right here, see if we can pick it up. And we do get block shedded as he only rushed three, but he does get to me to force the incomplete pass. And then Jumbo is its very difficult to deal with because they do got some really good formations. I mean, uh, passing plays out of it. But you have to respect the run. That's that's the tough thing about it is that you have to obviously respect the run with friggin' nine down linemen, you know. Um, and right there, I thought I could jump up and get that, but he just throws a dot over me again. I, I I don't know what type of routes to expect out of this damn formation, and uh, he just threw a dart right over me. And um, it's like I don't want to come out in a heavy uh, run defense because he could pass the ball out of. Obviously, they got some really good passing plays, and I don't want to come out in a heavy pass defense. Because he can just run the ball, and he can be very effective running in that damn formation. So, uh, we hopefully need uh, to just get some... First of all, we got to get some points on the board, right? We have to score to keep myself in the game here. He does get ball at halftime, so that's worrisome, is that um, I can come away with no points here. He gets ball back at halftime, go down. I might go down two possessions, and I'm in trouble from there. So, uh, he's got a nice defense, and he's uh, manning some guys up from zones, and he's uh, doing like the... The cross man um, out of dollar. He's running, uh, I believe, some nickel normal. I mean, the uh, the edge heat out of nickel. He's got some good blitzes right here. Third and eight. We decide to see if we can sneak in a run, catch him off guard, and we do just that. We end up coming away with the uh, touchdown. And all I can think about is that dang interception that freaking cost me um, some at least a field goal, man. And that was very frustrating. But nonetheless, uh, we got to see if we can put together a stop right here. And um, he goes deep. And again, like he threw two reads that were a little questionable. We definitely had guys there. But he picks up the first down right there. Again, I don't know what to really expect um, with this formation. When you see somebody at a bunch or formation you see often, they're really good plays. They're tough to stop. But you at least kind of know what routes are coming here. I just... I generally just don't know. And I'm just hoping he makes a mistake. That's all I'm hoping for. Just hope he makes a mistake. I'm calling timeout. See if I can get the ball back, man. You never know uh, what can happen. He has plenty of time in the pocket right here. It goes over the middle, and thankfully, the big hit forces him to drop the pass. So uh, he's going to punt the ball and check this out. So he punts a little bit towards the sideline. So the left side is wide open. And I got Howard returning kicks. Wait, did he get? Go! Oh! The way. And there's nobody in front of him. I have stamina left. His guy completely is out of stamina, but he somehow still outruns me, catches up to me, and I get tackled on the one-yard line. Whoo, man, I don't think that should have happened. You know, I definitely had stamina. His guy was completely out. So, you should, you know, I mean, when you're completely out of stamina, there's no way that should happen. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Take it for what it's worth. Uh, we get stopped at the one-yard line, and that was... 
That would have been such a huge, huge score. But nonetheless, 7-7 ball game right here. Back in it, at it with his jumbo and rerouting somebody over the middle. He's dotting me up, and I'm, I'm having trouble. Cannot tell a lot. This formation is uh, giving me fits. And now he's including the run a lot more this quarter. Um, decides to go over there towards the left side. And again, he's just dotting me up with different route combinations. And I'm just having trouble. He even goes to a little bit of Wildcat at this point. He's just feeling so confident. Me and Carson Wildcat. Um, goes with the QB sneak. And this time he goes with the power O. And he ends up scoring a touchdown right here after the broken tackle. And he takes the lead. So now it's like, all right. We got to score, right? And scoring on him isn't easy because, again, he, he's calling some some quick blitzes. You know, the the cross man, the nickel blitz. And, you know, he's, he's definitely sending heat our way. But uh, we got to try and make something happen. We have to score and hope that somehow defensively we can make something happen. Because I'm not feeling confident I can stop him whatsoever. Not at all. I, I just got to hope and pray for a mistake and, and hope that we can actually... Uh, you know, take advantage of it. So first and 10 right here. We decide to go with the draw play. Big run right there. Gives us a nice gain of eights. Decide to go back to the run. And uh, now we're starting to get some decent runs going our way. Uh, the first half, we pretty much shut it down besides that third and eight play. Right there, deep to the right side, we catch a touchdown on the streak. He uh, end up putting his uh, guy in a flat. And uh, we end up noticing that. And we uh, take advantage of that. And we end up scoring tying up the game so now it's like okay he can possibly make this last drive you know just milk some clock end up scoring and i won't even see the ball again here so right here we're run committing i'm trying to, i gotta get this ball back have to get this ball back you know um cannot allow him to make this last possession and uh right here he ends up going deep over to the right side but thankfully it's incomplete third and seven right here backs up and again my guy's right there like there's two guys there. such a risky throw Oh, man, but he comes away with that at this point, man. We got to start calling timeouts. We have to. And uh, right here, we end up getting the sack. Third down and 18 right here. Standing in pot. He's still going his jumbo, his liver die by the jumbo. He's going ahead and uh, going to settle for the field goal. So I have no timeouts left. I have a minute remaining to get in at least field goal range. And I'm like, all right, let's see if we can make this happen. You know, at, at least I'd much rather be in this position than where he's at. Because I did not want to face his jumbo on a game-winning drive. Because, you know, he was just killing me with it. So, right here, I'm looking. We do some rerouting and nobody's open. Throw it out of bounds. Again, we need a deep play. I can't settle for anything underneath. We need deep plays. And I'm looking. Another reroute. And we end up finding digs. And he breaks the tackle, which allows me to get out of bounds. I am now a few yards away from field goal range. Now, mind you, no more timeouts. We just chuckle up the moss. We hold wide and he snags it. That's pure luck right there. I will take it. I know how to. I go to a run. My fullback is in. And I stay in bounds. So, again, we call one more play. I roll out. And then we hit Momo on the left side for the game. Winning touchdown. Now, I end up going to the huddle. I call a play. And uh, we end up. I was going to throw it out of bounds. And uh, Momo got open at the very last second. We toss it to him. And we end up winning at the last second. My goodness, I was amped, I was pumped, I was uber excited. That was such a very well played game by Manu. That that uh, jumbo is hell, is hell. Especially in the second half when he started incorporating way more runs, which uh, had me not knowing what to do. You know, I was like, all right, I'm coming out in 4-4, I need better run defense. Then he starts passing, like, all right, all these linebackers isn't really helping me in pass coverage. Uh, so much. I need some nickel or some dime, and then he starts running more, and then he starts. My, it's so beyond frustrating. That formation is, uh, very, very, very frustrating. And the blocking on it is extremely good. Like it, it's damn near impossible to get some edge heat. It seems like on that damn formation, it's very difficult to get some pressure on that formation. Um, but nonetheless, we end up coming away with the game. We're gonna show you guys the replay on uh, the game winning drive right here yeah we had no time was the reason why my fullback was in if anybody was wondering i uh put him in to give me better blocking because that's you know a formation where i don't run out of um so he can pick up some some uh some pass protection for me and i was in that formation i know huddled he happened to be in the backfield but uh right here we're just looking at this crazy catch by moss at this point i just tossed it up and uh just held aggressive catch just hoping to put my hands on it i wasn't expecting a catch all i'm hoping is for him to put his hands on it and him to drop the pass uh or force a non-interception at that point but he holds on to it so i know huddle 
into this play where I was calling a run play and I wanted to get out of bounds, but the blocking was so, I was about to settle for a field goal really, and I stayed inbounds. So I went to the huddle and I called this play, you know, Saints drive out, you know, my, my favorite play of last year. And my read was was uh, B on the far right, which was uh, Chad Johnson. He's got a, you know, a little uh, ascending uh, drag route and I wanted to hit him over, over the middle or the running back in the flat. Those are Maurice, but he's right there with the QB spy. He's hawking the middle. He's not open. I figure, all right, I'm going to run to the left, and if it comes down, I'm going to throw it out of bounds. But at the last second, I see him coming down, and I see Moss behind him. So the, the defender plays the quarterback, and then I chuck it to Moss at the last second, and he tiptoes his feet in bounds. Well, obviously in bounds, but over the, the line, and I did uh, possession catch it. And again, I was about to just throw it out of bounds, settle for a field goal, but at the last second, we chuck it up the moth. You can see both feet down, clearly past the pylon, and we end up scoring. What a hell of a game. My Goonie Google. Woof. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, man. It was one hell of a game that we just went back and forth on, man. Right here was a beautiful play by Diggs that really uh, put me in position right here. Um, he was covered. We reroute him up, and he kind of went towards like an 11 o'clock angle, which was better for me. And uh, he broke the tackle, which allowed me to go out of bounds, man. Hell of a game. Uh, we both had some luck go our way. Um, he tackled me on a punt return where I feel like I should have scored. Uh, uh, he made some question. He didn't make many mistakes. He played very well. But the few mistakes he did make, we were unable to capitalize. But nonetheless, we come away with the victory. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. It's your boy, Jess. I'm going to go ahead and be signing out. Peace.